Hello all, my name is Dheeraj Kumar. Uh, welcome back to Knowledge Base. Today we'll see how to uh, deal with crash reporting in mobile applications. So in this um, application, mobile application world, we uh, got to see a lot of apps that are running in our devices. So if we have any specific mobile application that is running on any kind of device, either it could be an iOS, Android or Windows. So if suddenly user experience some kind of weird behavior uh, within our app, either it could be a crash or either it could be an exception. So how to deal with that as we uh, when uh, when our application is deployed to any uh, public site um, like a store and there, are, there could be a lot of millions of users for our uh, applica applications. So then it is uh, very complicated to deal with uh, how the application is behaving, how to uh, deal with all the other things with respect to the application. So we got to have a lot of um, custom built uh, uh, crash reporting tools available in the market. Uh, so there are a lot of popular ones. So if you are dealing with uh, Xamarin, then we have Xamarin Insights where it actually deals with all the application related um, information, uh, crash reporting, event level tracking, user level tracking. So we got all the information. So today we'll see uh, uh, one kind of uh, tool that actually uh, deals with crash reporting that is Regun. So we'll work uh, on Regun today, uh, how to integrate that and how to see the crash reporting. Let's start uh, doing that. So just log into Regun.com and just sign up if you don't have any account, uh, there is a 30 day trial and if you are kind of an enterprise, if you are looking for uh, a trial version, you can just download the trial and if it is uh, sufficing your request, then you can just go with uh, a premium one. So I have signed up. So I'm just here at create application. So I'm just trying to click on create crash reporting application. So I'm just specifying. Click on next. So choose the uh, platform that you want to support. So today we'll just check with Android. So we got our application key. So let's just um, copy this application key. Now we'll just move to Visual Studio and just create a new project. So I'm just choosing Android, a blank application. So Xamarin, Wagon, Sample. So basically Reagan supports complete crash reporting and uh, error information. It doesn't have any uh, event level information. So um, this is basically uh, used in uh, debugging certain information uh, related to an, a crash or an, an exception. You can just have a complete information about that crash and even an exception. So before starting uh, implementing Regun, we need to include uh, a NuGet package. So I'll just uh, go to manage NuGet packages on right clicking on our project. And we'll search Regun. So just scroll down. So you see mindscape.regun for net this is basically it supports dotnet framework windows store apps windows rt windows phone and even xamarin so let's just install this click on ok so um, it's trying to install the 
respective packages into our uh, Xamarin Android solution. It won't take much time. So packages got successfully installed into our uh, Xamarin Android project. So let's just close all these things. You can see mindscape.ragunfernet.xamarin.android. So we just go to main activity. So this is basically a startup sample. So you can just customize. Um, uh, your project according to your needs. So basically we need to track an exception. We need to track any specific crash if crash occurs So we need to report that crash. So we need to track that crash. So this is uh, this example is meant for that So here as we see it's basically a default template. Uh, we don't have anything in place. We have a button and we have a delegate event on that so which actually uh, on click on that particular button we are just trying to find out the clicks so this is what the simple screen that we have so let's just remove this and we are just trying to deal with uh, so now uh, we forcibly raise one specific exception which actually um, results in a crash app crash so we'll see how our application behaves in that scenario so i'm just making it as so not implemented exception i'm just using this so you can just go with any kind of uh, exception methodologies so i'm just trying to run this app in one of the simulator So our application got successfully deployed into uh, Xamarin Simulator. So I'm just clicking on this button. So you see uh, a specific exception got occurred. So I'm just clicking on continue and you see our app got crashed. So uh, this kind of weird scenarios, it, it's, it doesn't mean like uh, as we have just forcibly mentioned and implement, not implemented exception, but there could be certain areas where we don't know where uh, our application will get crashed so either it could be some kind of service level issues or else uh, some kind of uh, code related issues so if our application get crashed so we need to have a detailed information so that we can just um, go back and just reinvestigate what could be the problem and how to resolve that so for that we need to have certain mechanism to identify um, what could be the problem so for that we are just now dealing with a Regun crash reporting uh, tool so I'm just trying to surround this particular piece of code in a try catch block so we got our API key um, from the portal so Regun client so mindscape.ragun for dot net dot attach is one specific property so where um, this uh, sorry uh, attach is particular method so where we need to pass a api key there so we'll just copy that api key so we'll paste it here so this is the first step so we are just trying to um, deal with our project api key and after that in the catch block we are just trying to uh, send this exception to uh, the server so reagan client dot current dot send we got two uh, specific methods send and send in background so send is specifically um, deals with one, uh, the same process where it actually takes an exception and send in background it will also take the specific same exception block but this particular operation will be done in background so we'll just go with send in background 
and we are just passing this exception object that's it so if you want to customize this particular uh, send action we can just we have even one more event handler which is send message so you can just customize all these specific um, what are all the things that you want to send uh, to the cloud so you can just pass all these specific information here so we got user information where we can just send all the user information so right now we i'm just going with uh, send info send in background and let's just rerun the application once again So we'll just navigate to the dashboard here. So here we see um, nothing, no statistics. So let's just uh, click on hello world. So as usually our application got crashed. But as we have one specific thing that we have integrated the crash reporting tool so we can able to see what went wrong so just refresh the dashboard so we'll just check this enable live refresh We'll move to crash reporting. We'll just try to regenerate the same exception again. So you see, we got a crash and we can able to see the exception. So not implemented exception, the method or operation is not implemented. This was the exception which resulted to crash. So you see all the complete information. So this is what the complete stack trace and the affected user as we are not sending any kind of user traits. So we uh, can't see any user information. It just states as anonymous and uh, if you just go to error details we can able to see all the error details information and uh, we can able to see the environment so on which particular device it got occurred so everything you can able to see all the information and we can able to see even the raw data so the complete information so this particular raw data is in the form of json so that if we have any specific um, uh, third party or your own uh, system so it actually um, you uh, be useful in showing up data there also the same information whatever we are seeing in summary error details and environment we can able to see all the information here so we can able to see how many uh, number of times this particular error got occurred and how many number of users uh, got affected and the complete information about the history of that error let's just try uh, we'll just try to rerun the exception um, again so our app got crashed again so we'll just see the information now so as this is the same error we need to see the count the count got incremented this is what the information and um, so um, we got one more uh, specific integration in Dragoon that is um, we can just include any kind of uh, um, third party uh, bug tracker tools or even we can just include to our visual to studio team services so we got visual studio team services we got Jira and we got even a Trello uh, we got uh, multiple tools that are available so to track the issues or to track the complete um, uh, project level information and the complete information about event uh, uh, so exceptions and crashes so we can just de deal that particular thing as an issue so that we can just resolve and we can just have a track of that so uh, that was a small sample um, where we can just uh, got to know like how to integrate Regun 
and how to deal with uh, Regun. Thank you so much. Please do post a comment and please do subscribe for my videos.